Welcome everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to keep applications such as VitaShell, Hankaku, HANCOR, and uh, the SD2 Vita application or the auto plugin application using um, an application called Application Storage Manager. So, I'm going to show uh, the transfer of Vita Shell. So let's go to our UXO and to App. Let's go down. As you can see, I have Vita Shell in my um, UXO. And this video will teach you how to keep it in URO. So if everything goes wrong with SD2 Vita and you don't have another memory card to use, you can keep your applications in the internal memory so you never lose it. So this is the Application Storage Manager. I will leave the link of the VPK in the video description. So basically we just uh, uh, use it and we will see two options from memory card to internal storage or from internal storage to memory card. Let's go with the first option, shall we? And we want to transfer as an example Vita Shell. Okay, let's do it. Press X to confirm. And we're done. So now to test it, I'm going to turn off the PS Vita completely and remove the memory card so as you remember it was in the UXO so it was supposed to be here but now we turn the PS Vita on I'm on Enzo so if you're using H Encore, be sure to copy that too, so you keep the custom firmware if you're not on PS Vita 3.60 or 3.65. So it's um, refreshing the database and the live area. Perfect. So as you can see, I don't have the other applications, but Here's Vita Shell in the internal memory. So even if uh, I have a problem with SD2 Vita, with my memory card, I can still use Vita Shell. This was just an example, but before using SD2 Vita, I will be um, transferring uh, auto plugin and maybe even the SD2 Vita app. Thanks for watching. Let me chat. Tell me um, what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.